Also tonight, it's the news that Eagles fans have been waiting to hear. A limited number of fans will be allowed back in the stands at the link starting this Sunday. Only a certain group will get first dibs at tickets. Dan Koob is at the link with today's announcement from the city and the team. Season ticket holders will get the first crack at those Baltimore Philly tickets Wednesday morning. In the meantime, officials are just hopeful that everyone follows the rules. All other safety rules still apply. At events, everyone still must wear masks. Everyone should stay six feet apart. The birds are back, and so are 7,500 people. That's 15% max capacity for an outside event, as outlined by the city. But it's also the total number of people allowed inside the link. So the team estimates after teams, media, and staff, about 5,500 to 6,000 fans can attend Sunday's game with Baltimore. It's in the Eagles' best interest to have this go off without a hitch. Uh, and I'm confident they can do that and will do that. I'm going to log on right at 5 and see if there's any tickets available. Dave Gibson wants to go. Online windows to purchase seats for season ticket holders open Wednesday morning, where between two and six tickets must be bought to sit in isolated pods, which will be separated by six feet in all directions while everyone wears a mask. I saw the, the fans out at the, the uh, Steelers game over the weekend, and uh, I feel pretty safe with it, uh, the way that looked. It's, uh, probably safer than going to the grocery store, quite honestly. Even if the team was like 27, 2017 style, I probably wouldn't be rolling in there. Seamus Clancy opted out of his season tickets this year. No tailgating, plus COVID and coverage issues have soured him ahead of Sunday. If there was ever a season they needed fans there to boo the team, like Nate Gary and Jim Schwartz and all those people, they missed out on the booing. They're lucky no fans were there this year. The Eagles say whatever tickets are not gobbled up by the season ticket holders will be opened up to the general public. At Lincoln Financial Field, Dan Coombe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.